Hello and welcome to Marketing and Margaritas. Today's episode is a shorty soundbite episode where we talk about FAQs, little thinky pieces and tidbits that have popped up during the week. Yes, true. Very good. Today's episode is how can I use Facebook lookalike audiences to expand my reach? Mm -hmm. All right. Why would we want to do that? So if you haven't already, then meta ads is probably something you're going to be playing with at some point or another. Yep. Some point or another. (laughs) So this is a feature in the meta ads. Correct. Yes. hundred percent. Yes. So Facebook ads, Instagram ads, whatever you want to call it, they're meta ads basically. And something you can do with them is um, try lookalike audiences. So Mm -hmm. a meta ad is already probably one of the most cost effective ways of advertising at the moment. And lookalikes um, are just another avenue to do that. So we're using more data to get more results. Yes, 100%. Using, putting our data to work for us. So basically with a lookalike audience, you um, are telling Meta to find another audience that looks like this one. Mm -hmm. So for example, there's your customers, the people who already buy from you. And you say, oh, well, you know, if these people buy from me. They like me. People who are like them will also buy from me. So you say to Meta, find people who look like this audience so that my advertising dollars are going just to those people, which, you know, potentially a lower hanging fruit for you. Awesome. How do we do that? Um, So you can either upload your um, customer database, which for if you're B2C, that's fine because Mm -hmm. basically what it does is it matches the customer emails to the Facebook account emails Uh, and it goes, okay, these are those people. What are the commonalities between them? We'll find people who look like that. Yep. Um, however, if you're like us and you're B2B, then most of us don't use our um, work emails for our Facebook social. account. Yep. So it's not, may not be as applicable, but it's still worth trying, I think. You can also use a Metapixel. So it's like a little piece of code that's free to create in your Meta Business Suite. Yeah. And you attach that to your website. Which we hope you've all done already because we have talked about this in the past. <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have in the show notes. <laughs> um, but yeah, then it basically will track... Um, people who go to, uh, for example, your thank you page or whatever that mm-hmm. is. And so you can say, I want to find more people who are like those people. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Okay. Where do we find it? You started by saying that was in the meta ad suite. Yes. hundred percent. So basically you go to create a meta ad yep. in ads manager. So it's not in, does boost post even exist anymore? Is that still a thing? It shouldn't be. You're not, you're doing it anyway. <laughs> so disregard. I literally cannot remember if the boost post button still is there. <laughs> oh, look. I just blank it so much. I had to add someone to a Facebook page this week, and that was so much harder than I swear it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't business suite fun? Anyway, 10 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not sorry. this episode. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, so in Ads Manager, you go to create a meta ad, and then when you're in your ad set level, so that's your second level, yeah. when you go to create your audience, that's there's a drop down there, and one of the drop downs is called lookalike audiences, and that's where you can go and choose what uh, audience you want to base it off of. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and how much of a degree of separation you want. So you might want to have only one degree of separation. So you want people who are really, really really similar. Or I think it goes up to maybe 10% sort of thing as a variation. So like loosely that amount. So it's good for finding more customers, you know, for yourself. But it can also be useful in certain circumstances where, for example, say we were going to expand to Rocky or something, yep. then we might go, okay, here's our Mackay customers and what they look like. We assume they'll look like, like that in Rockhampton. Find us those peaks but in the Rocky postcode sort of thing. So it kind of is just gives you a bit of a um, better um, targeting and stuff. Again, it's not perfect. Like it doesn't mean that you're going to automatically have amazing clients and stuff, but it's like anything with advertising or whatever. It's yep. just giving you your best chance. And I guess if you're uncomfortable with doing the whole marketing stereotyping and pigeonholing of your target audience. Let Facebook do it for you. Exactly. It takes that, that um, biasness out of it there. They are collecting all of our data. So, you know, yeah. why not use it? Make it work for you. <laughs> awesome. It. Well, that's it from us. Thank you. We hope you got something out of today's soundbite episode. Cheers. Thanks for listening to this episode of Marketing and Margaritas. Find more free marketing tips, tricks and laughs at rebelnation.com.au.